Welcome back to the Daily Prayer and Devotion. We're back again. We're so thankful for allowing us to be back. We thank the Father for blessing us to be here. We're just trusting that you are doing fine, that your home is, your families are doing fine. As we wait for everyone to join in with us, we're so thankful for being back again in our morning prayer and devotion. Hallelujah. We're looking unto the Father. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. We're looking for great things. Today we have a uh, we have prepared for you a sequel of the lesson that we did on yesterday. That we dealt dealt with speaking into your life, but today we're going to talk about exceeding abundantly and above, exceedingly abundantly and above. This is the um, the the God that we're serving. Abba Yah has the power to do to do exceeding abundantly and above all that we can ask or think, and we're going to uh, look at Him and hold Him to His capabilities because He is our Father and He's able to do what we need Him to do, and there's no need for us to be deficient in our walk, deficient in our lives if we're serving a God that is able to do all of this for us. Uh, we would no longer uh, allow defeat to reign in our life or to come in and to steal away all of the benefits that come with serving our Father. Many times we stand in the way of the blessings of the Father by looking and focusing on uh, our deficiency and focusing on what haven't been done and the things that we are expecting and not exercising faith to bring them to pass. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're so happy to just be enlightened of, of our walk. And no matter what the situation is in the world, he promised us, he wants us to, to have the type of faith in him that we would not worry, we would not fret, we would not be found in, in a place where we are folded up and concerned about everything that the devil is going to do but no we we're going to look unto him he's the author and the finish of our faith he is the one that designed the life that we are striving to live so it's able for us to do it's able for us to accomplish it's able for us to to be able to extend to others and to share with others that they may receive the blessings that come with serving the father when we look in the scriptures they're riddled with blessings. They're riddled with all the things that he wants to do for us as his children. But many times we focus on the the negative part. We focus on the things that hold us captive to all of our struggles, all of our pain. But we want to release that spirit. We want to release that ideology. And we want to look at him for who he is and what he can do and believe him for it and exercise our faith. Hallelujah. We're going to be looking in the book of Ephesians chapter number three. Yes, Ephesians chapter number three. And we're going to glean from the scriptures what the word has to say concerning the capability and who he have called us to be. I want you to know we've been called to a powerful position in him. We are his executives in the earth. We are his ambassadors in the earth. So we want to represent him for who he is and not struggle and toil through. But we want to represent him as a divine representative. Hallelujah. We want to let men know that there can be peace in their lives if they will only surrender exceeding abundantly and above that's what we're going to talk about today hallelujah in the book of ephesians, ephesians chapter three three for this cause i paul the prisoner of jesus christ for you gentiles if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of god which is given me to you word how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote afore in few words whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, 
which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God, according to the eternal purpose, which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him, Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's look unto the Father to seek his face on today. Let us believe him that he's able to do exceeding abundant and above all that we can ask or think. Let us hold him to his claims. Let us believe his word. Let us walk in his word. Let us exercise our faith that we may be found in the realm of his blessings. No more defeat. No more lack. No more discouraged attitude. But being lifted up into the area of his exceedingly and his abundance and above all that we can think or ask he's able to do it for us fathers we come before you today we pray and ask that you look down upon each and every one of us those that have been struggling those that have been fighting those that have been toiling not knowing not realizing the blessings that are contained in following you those that have not been able to embark upon the blessings of your abundance. We pray, Father, that you open up the understanding of your people, cause their faith to be released, cause them to move into that realm of abundance, cause their attitudes to change because of your word, cause your people to see that there is a greater cause Cause your people to know that you have called them for a purpose. We're honoring you. We're praising you and giving you all the glory because it's your idea that we become sons and daughters. It's your idea that we be blessed. And we're thanking you in advance for all your blessings that you have extended to us, your people. We call upon you with an unending cry. We call upon you, Father, in the area that you desire for us to call. Beyond our tests, beyond our trials, beyond our hurt, beyond our pain, we call on you. You have the capability of pulling us up, pulling us out, and establishing us. Father, as we come before you, as we understand that there is nothing too difficult for you. You have all power in your hand. Father, we are understanding that you have the capability 
to cause us to transcend all of these things that hold us captive. We have been captivated by our own minds, our own desires. Relieve us of that captivity. Take us to the area of faith that causes us to lift up our heads and know and understand that we are your children and that you want to do more abundant for your children. You want to open the windows of heaven and pour a blessing out upon us that it's not room enough to, to receive. Father, cause your people to walk in your ways, to be able to be blessed during the remainder of the years that you have given them. No more pain and toiling and struggling. But Father, you're able to do exceeding abundant above all that we ask or think. Now we're holding you to your promise. We're holding you to your word. We're standing up on your word today. Hallelujah. We're releasing our efforts into your capability. We're calling upon you, Father, because you're able to do it. We have a source that is able to take us to heights unknown. You are our source. And we're dependent upon you. We speak these things by the power of prayer. We release all the blessings that have been held up held up by our limitations, held up by our pain, held up by our unfocused vision. We pray, Father, that you would give us the attitude that it takes to be able to walk in your ways of righteousness, to walk in your blessings, that goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. As you promised, we are thanking you. We're honoring you and we're praising you. You have given us this idea through your word. It is not something that we can make up. It's not something that we can come up on our own. But you told us that you will supply all of our need according to your riches in glory. So, Father, here we are. Those that are need, in need today. Those that are at your feet. Those that are in this prayer room today, Father, we pray that you allow your spirit to comb through everyone's life that's on this line today. Father, we speak and we pray and ask for a release in the spirit. We ask, Father, that you will, will cause the abundance of your grace to cover your people. We pray, first of all, that you alleviate your people from the pains of mis misunderstanding, from the pains of sins, from the pains of mistakes. We pray, Father, that you relieve them of the torment that comes with their inadequacies. We pray, Father, that you do a new thing with the lives of your people and cause them to rise up and see and know that it's not them, but it's you that worketh in us. Father, we need your help today. We pray, Father, that you will cause homes to be become homes of peace, homes of glory, homes that have the grace dwelling in them. Father, we pray for each member that's in the household that you will raise them up, raise their mindset up, take away the despondency, take away the discouragement, we speak order. We speak praise. We speak blessings on today. We're thanking you. We're honoring you. And we're praising you. And we're standing on your exceeding. We're standing on your abundance. We're standing on your above. We're standing on all of these things that you have promised that you can do through your word. Father, we pray that you extend your hand your healing virtue, let it be made known among your people. Those that are sick, Father, we pray that you move by your power, touch and heal. Let your stripes heal from the crown of the head to the soles of their feet. We're speaking by the power, Father, we're standing up on your promises. Despite of what's going on in this wicked world, despite of the trouble that we see, we want to exercise the power that you have invested in us. We're exercising, Father, the, the authority that you have given us. You have given us the authority to speak. You have given us the authority and the power over demons. 
that we can cast them out through your name. You have given us the power and authority to speak healing, to speak blessings into our lives. Father, help us to utilize it. Help us to walk into to the abundance above. Help us to go beyond normality. Help us, Father, to, to be able to walk in the presence, in the spirit, and in the glory that's available for your people. Father, you are the one that made these things available. You're the one that put these things before us. Now, Father, allow us to obtain them. Ha, Shabbat, glory. Allow your people to obtain everything that's there for them. Help them to know and believe that they have not passed the age of their blessing, that they're not too old to receive the, their hopes and dreams to come to pass. Father, let them know that it all lies in their faith. Father, we pray to extend our faith, to, to cause our faith to grow. Father, allow it to be realized in the lives of your people. We're looking unto you. We're counting on you. We're trusting in you. Hallelujah. We're extending our love unto you. We're making ourselves vulnerable to your power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let your power rest, rule, and abide in our lives. Let us walk in the power. Let us exercise the power. Because we are praying unto you on a daily basis. Let your people feel the results. Let them experience the blessings of your praise and glory and honor. Hallelujah. As we call upon your name, as we seek your face, we realize that this is what we have been waiting for. We were placed on this earth that we may glorify your name. That's our sole purpose for even being in the earth. Is to bring glory to your name, to magnify your name, and to share with others and help them to know and realize you were placed in this earth to be a candidate of this salvation, to be a proponent of salvation. We were placed in this earth to help men and women to catapult through this life so that they can embark upon the eternal life. We're thanking you today. We honor you today. We receive. We speak it right now. Receive. Ha shada. Receive. We speak to your people to receive the abundance, to receive the exceedingly, to receive the over and above. We speak it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You're able to do it, you're able to accomplish. So we're going to ask, we're going to think, we're going to seek your face, we're going to knock. Hallelujah. You're able to do it abundantly above all that we can even imagine in our mind. You're able to go far beyond that. So Father, let us begin to experience all of the things that you can do, all the resources that you have. We're relying on you. You have made these promises to us, and we're standing and we're holding you to it. We make our petitions known unto you. Hallelujah. We, we're calling upon you out of the abundance of our heart. We're calling upon you. Meet the needs of the people. And Father, even go over and beyond the needs. Begin to bless your people at the magnitude of their faith. We're thanking you, Hasha. Thank you, glory. We're worshiping you, and we're magnifying your name. Father, we pray that you will continue to keep us on this road, continue to keep our minds in the sphere of your blessings, continue to allow us to pray those prayers that transcend it, that changes things, those prayers that take us into deeper depths of your righteousness and your holiness. Let us pray those prayers that cause us to be anointed, 
Let us pray those prayers, Father, that cause those that are around us to experience your presence. Let us pray those prayers, Father, that keeps us illuminated. And when others look at us, they can see the aura of your spirit around us. When we pray those prayers that cause us to be illuminated by your spirit, we're thanking you and we're honoring and praising your name. Do it for your people. Do it because you're a faithful God. Do it because you, you love us. Make us the warriors that will fight when discouragement comes. Father, cause us to rise to battle against discouragement. Cause us, Father, to, to rise up against defeat. Make us more than conquerors. And we're thanking you. We're honoring and praising your name today. We're walking in the exceedingly. We're walking in the abundantly. We're walking over and above all the obstacles that try to hold us back from what you want us to have and who you want us to be. Father, we speak these blessings over all this listening. We speak over their children. Even though their children may not know it, but Father, we're covering them in prayers right now. Everyone that's on this line, the children that are attached to them, their children's children. Father, we speak a word over them. Allow them to escape the hand of the enemy. Allow them to escape the things that the enemy has devised against this world. We cover your people in prayer. We cover your people by the word of your power. Do it by the power of the Holy Ghost. And through the faith of your people, we pray and ask these things in the mighty name of Yahweh shot at the world, know as Jesus. We magnify your name and we honor you and we praise you and give you all the glory. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. Come on, family, let's praise him for the blessings. Let's praise him for the exceedingly. Let's give him that exceeding praise. Somebody ought to give him some praise right now. On this day called Friday at the beginning of the Shabbat, let's, let's give him praise. Let's, let's honor him. Let's glorify him. Somebody type in the chat section of praise. Somebody put in the chat section how much you love him. Put something in there that brings glory to his name. Let us let him know that he's there, that we love him, and we're going to do our part to magnify and to lift him up. Come on, let's give him a, an abundant praise. Hallelujah. Let your praise go over and above what it has been. We want our praise to match the kind of blessing that we want to receive. If you want to receive a great blessing, let's give him a great praise. Hallelujah. Let's magnify him and glorify him for all the righteous things and glorious things he have already done in our life. Oh, let's lift him up. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the honor. Let's give him the praise. Hallelujah. Let's honor him because he's worthy of all glory. He's worthy of all honor and all praise. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify you and we magnify you. Bless those that are blessing your name right now. Those that are sending up praise right now. We often say, Father, when praises go up, blessings come down. Let blessings come into the lives of your people. Hallelujah. Uh, it is all well. It is all well with you. We thank you. We honor and we praise you right now. Hallelujah. We send up praises. We send up praises and we magnify your name. Go ahead, family. Give them another praise. That's right, that's right, that's right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy of all praise, all glory, and all honor. He has done great things, and they are marvelous in our eyes. We're going to continue to magnify him. We're going to continue to glorify him because he's not done yet. He's not done yet. You're only at the beginning. Hallelujah, you're only at the beginning of your blessing. And we're going to continue to ho holler out hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah, we thank you, Father, and we glorify you. 
and we give you all the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, we honor him and we praise him and we magnify him for all the things that he have done in our life. We thank him for what he's going to do. Yes, that's why I give him praise. It's hallelujah. We thank him, we glorify him, and we honor him. All right, family, we're so happy to be back again. We thank him for the prayers. We thank him for the word. We thank him for your presence, for you just being here and being a part of this ministry, a part of what we're doing. What we're doing is trying to make our way plain and straight and, and set our path for t today. Each day we want to set precedence over our day. We want to take charge. So we started off in prayer. We started off by putting him first in our lives. All right, today we're talking about exceeding abundantly and above. Exceedingly abundantly and above. What are we trying to exceed? What are we trying to get in abundance? What are we trying to get above, over? Well, we are trying to exceed that normality that's in your life. That routinism that causes you to just be the same and many times become even stagnant. We want to go exceed, we want to exceed that. We want to move a little bit further and deeper into the ways of righteousness. We want to see the blessings that come with serving him. I don't believe that he called us out of darkness into this marvelous light for us to be folded up in a corner, folded up dreadful and sorrowful day after day. I don't believe that's the reason that he shed his blood. Hallelujah. So he wants us to have a life that is exceeding the life that we once had. And then after that, whatever you had obtained, he wants to give you more in abundance. Oh, yes. This is not what we call, what they call a uh, 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 prosperity gospel. No, this is far above beyond that. We're speaking in the spirit realm. In the blessed realm, when you when you tap into the glory of the Father, then all those other things just automatically comes with it. The choices that you make on a daily basis will, will produce in your life. You do not make void choices when you operate in the will of the Father. The scripture says that whatsoever you do, you're going to bring forth your leaf in, in his season, and whatsoever you do will prosper. So the, the choices that you make are not going to be choices that cause more downturn in your life, but whatsoever you do will prosper. So that's where the abundantly. He didn't call you out of darkness into this marvelous light for you to be regular. But he wants to put you above, above where you used to be. Your life should be better. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things come new. New things have a glitter. New things have shine. New things are, are more appreciated over the old. Hallelujah. So you got a new life. Yes, we're going to look at our focus scripture today, and we're talking about over, above, and abundance. That's what our focus is today. We want to move in that way. We want to move in that realm. And our scripture comes from Ephesians 3 and 20. It says, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly. Ah, hallelujah. Exceedingly above all that you ask or think. Look at all of the, the increments that it, it starts by saying exceedingly. Then it moves on up to abundantly. And then it tops all of that above all that you can ask or think. 
but it's not by your own power, but it says, according to the power that worketh in us. Listen here, sisters and brothers. The power is working in us. And he wants to do exceeding and abundant and above in your life. He want to take you to those areas of blessing. We don't want to stay in the same place, never making any progress. See, that's what the enemy, he, he's very tricky. He can fool us and trick us and keep us in the same position even after we have made a move and after the blessings of the Father have rested upon us. He will twist your mind and your thoughts cause you not to to move in the realm of of the capability that the the father have given you he will cause you to miss the mark that that the father have really designated in your life think about that causing you to miss what was originally intended for you he'll cause you to miss it but when you begin to operate, when you begin to do, if you ever notice, whenever you activate faith in your life, you will see yourself coming up a little more higher and being able to accomplish more. Well, if you don't keep that spirit activated, then you will become dormant again. So you must uh, retain the energy that comes through the word. And we're not just talking naturally, we're talking spiritual. You need to make spiritual progress in your life. You need to have a closer walk with him. You need to feel his presence. You don't need the depression to come in and, and, and press you out and press you down. you always downhearted, always got that, that spirit of despondency. No, he want to take you over and above that. Uh, let's move forward. Let's let's move on a little bit further because we want you to see what we're saying. When we when we look at this thing for what it is, it's deeper than what we think. He wants you to be able to to be a person that is effective down here in this earth. We shouldn't be just a, a sideliner, but we should be a frontliner. Because we are the ones that are running the thing. We, we're going to be the ones that reign with Christ. So we got to get in practice now. We're serving one that is omnipotent. He has all power. That word on omnipotence or omnipotent means that you're all powerful. His power supersedes nuclear power. Money power, the power of influence. He has more than all of those. Everyone that you see in the earth that look like they're in the position of power, we serve the one that, that's omnipotent. He has all power. He can take power from everybody. We're serving Abba Yah. We're serving him. Then his blessings are insurmountable. His blessings are insurmountable. In other words, his blessings far exceed your expectations. Sometimes we stop and fall short of what he really wanted us to do. There was an old uh, story that I heard before of a man that lived his life. And he lived a life and had a pretty good life and accomplished many things in his life. <clears throat> And he thought that he was really, really up on top. One day he died and went to heaven. <clears throat> and once he got to heaven, the Lord began to take him around and show him different compartments in heaven. And he went to this large warehouse. And he opened the door to the warehouse and let the man see all the things that were in the warehouse. When he opened the warehouse and the man looked in the warehouse, it was all type of blessings. 
in that warehouse, all type of things that were unimaginable in the warehouse. And the man asked him, say, Father, what, what is all of this? And the father answered him, say, these are all the blessings that I wanted to give you, but you never had the faith or you never asked for these blessings though they were yet contained. You never was able to obtain them because you did not seek for them, you did not ask for them, you were satisfied. So he wants to, to give you a life of satisfaction, but you want to have what he wants you to have. Let's make that our prayer. We want to have what he wants us to have. And his desire supersedes. He's able to do exceeding abundant and above all you ask or think. Why should we fall short? Now, be very careful. That doesn't mean for you to go out and try to make this happen on your own. The latter part of that scripture that we've seen, it says, according to the power that worketh in us. The power that worketh in us. Not so much of your own uh, ingenuity, but you got to trust in the word. You got to trust in what the Father wants to do for you. Somebody ought to give him some praise on that one. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go ahead and give him some praise. He's worthy, he's worthy. All right, let's move on a little bit further. And then... He says his power is without measure. His power is, you can't measure his power. His power was so great and so strong and so vast that he have to mete out to you a certain degree of power, but all of his power, you wouldn't be able to contain it. You would explode. It would cause you to, to disintegrate all of the power. That's why he had to use Christ to tone down all of that power that he had because you couldn't stand in his presence because he's a consuming fire. He got, he's got so much power. So you, his power is without measure. Another point is that he is sovereign. His sovereignty, uh, that, that gives him charge over everything. He reigns sovereign. There is none that can match his power and his, his sovereignty. That's who we're serving. That's why he told us that he's able to do exceeding. Now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundant above all that we ask or think according to the power that's working in us. All right, let's look a little bit further into the word. Let us see what thus said the, the Most High. It says, For this call to our Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given to me to you, word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and his prophets by the Spirit. Let me pause right there and say, we are getting more in our dispensation than what they got during the time in the Old Testament. He reserved this thing. He wanted it to travel. When Christ came on the scene, things were more developed. They could travel better. They had roads that, that were able to cause them to carry this thing throughout the, the, the lands and throughout the, the, the provinces. They, they were able to move about. So now it's revealed even more so now. We have vehicles now where this thing can go electronically. This word that we're speaking today it's accessible all over the world. If someone would just reach out to try to find it. So now there, we are inexcusable today because this word is, is free 
for us to receive. All right? <clears throat> it says, which in ages was not yet made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. And they are the ones that were to distribute it to those of us that are in the world today. <clears throat> that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and by the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. So don't get so beside yourself because you are one of the chosen ones that you shut the door on the Gentiles. It's not his desire to shut anybody out. Anybody that wants to receive this is free for them to receive, but it's still going to cost you something. <clears throat> Yes, any man come unto me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, follow me daily. So it's free, but it's going to cost you your life living. It's going to cost you presenting your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. That's your reasonable service. Then when you suffer, glory comes after the suffering. If you suffer, you will reign. So he's going to bless you here and now this age and in the world to come. <clears throat> Wherefore I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. See, his power and his charge is the one that distributes in measure to those that are carrying the word. And some men have abused the power and used it for their own gain. I would not encourage anyone to even go into that realm because Christ said they have the reward. In other words, that's all they're going to get. But we want to embark upon the fullness of his glory and grace to us were. All right? Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach unto the Gentiles, among the Gentiles, the unsearchable riches of Christ. <clears throat> Did you hear that? Unsearchable riches. Sisters and brothers, what we have here is more than what you think. Is more than what you think. The scripture says the riches are unsearchable. We're searching every day, but we haven't even scratched the surface of what he's going to do for his people. He told us in his word, I have not seen, neither have ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. It's unsearchable. So don't miss it. <clears throat> Let's move on. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God. I told you that a lot of things that are being revealed today were hidden in the beginning. Who created all things by Christ Jesus? And some men want to uh, uh, annihilate Christ. They don't. They want to. They want to take him out of the picture. But the worlds were framed through him. He was pre-existent. He was back there in the Old Testament. Hallelujah. But folks want to try to outthink their own self. They want to outthink their salvation. They think themselves so hard, they miss the salvation. They miss everything. <clears throat> to the extent that now unto the principalities and powers in heaven, heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. So this is what we are tapping into on a daily basis when we come before him in consistent prayer. When we come before him in consistent prayer, we we are tapping into these powers. This is why we got to raise the level of our expectation when it comes to receiving. Hallelujah. All right, let's move on. I'm so happy that the, the Father... It's taken us to this area because we must go here in order to be prepared for what's coming upon the earth. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, verse number 11. 
according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. So we are able to obtain the exceeding, abundant, and above because of him, because of Christ. Yes. All right. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, for that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Hallelujah. Did you hear that, sisters and brothers? He wants your inner man to be strengthened. He wants your inner man to be strengthened. He wants that, that one, that secret part of you that others can't see that sometimes began to deviate and long for things that it ought not long for. He want to work on that inner man. That, that inner man, he want to strengthen that. He want to start working on you from the inside out. <clears throat> All right? That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. See, this is where he wants us to be. It's time for us to start comprehending with one another and reasoning with one another and beginning to see a lot of the things that we are missing. Stop fighting and fussing so much. Let's start examining what you have. What piece of the puzzle do you have? I got a piece missing over here. You got a piece, I got a piece. Let's put it together and put this whole picture so we can see for what it is. We want to see what the Father is doing in this last hour and in this last day. We haven't much time. We don't want to spend it and waste it on bickering, arguing, and missing the, the uh, abundant, the seeding, and abundant above by arguing and fussing and wasting our time. House in disarray. House not having peace in it. You, 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 you're missing everything because you, you're so discombobulated. In, in your attitude and everything. So so therefore you can't have all of these blessings operating in you. You miss seeing and comprehending with all saints. You don't know the breadth. You don't know the length. You don't know the depth or the height of this thing. All of these areas that, that are unfulfilled. He's trying to take us to the breadth. He's trying to take us to the length and the depth. He want to take you a little deeper in his grace. He wants you to see the height of where you can go if you just trust and believe in his word. All right? And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God, that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. If I take a glass and fill it up with water, that glass is filled, which represents you, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. But if I take that same glass that represents you and throw it in the ocean, it's filled with all the fullness. The ocean represents the Almighty Yah. So when you feel, you want to be immersed in the fullness of Him. You want all of his glory to be all around you. While you feel with him, you, you're of him and in him. Hallelujah. All right. 
Now unto him that is able to do exceeding. There our focus scripture is. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly. Abundantly. And above all that we ask or think. And some of y'all can think of some things. But he can go beyond that. According to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, world without end. Wow. Somebody ought to give him praise for that. Amen. So, sisters and brothers, let us walk in the fullness of him. Because he's able to do all these things for us. So we don't want to miss the blessing that he has. We're not going to even try to name all the blessings that he has for us because they're unsearchable. After you continue to name all the blessings that are available, you're still going to miss something. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so we thank him for knowing that he's able to do all these things. He's able to go and far exceed your expectation and then give you abundantly above what you can ask a thing. Father, we thank you again. Thank you for another day that we have been allowed to come into your presence. We thank you, Father, because you're there for us. You have blessed us time and time again. You have promised to give us the exceeding abundant and above all that we can ask a thing. We receive it in your mighty precious name. Be it done unto your people in the name of Yahushai that the world know as Jesus we say. Amen and amen. All right, family. I'm excited. I'm excited about what he's going to do once you start exercising your faith at the level that you ought to exercise it. I'm excited how he's going to bring you out and start changing situations in your home, among your children, when you start exercising this exceeding abundant and above all. Let us start believing him for who he is and for what he can do. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to be blessed today. I hope you receive the blessing that comes through the word because he's ready to do exceeding abundant above all you ask a thing. We want to ask someone that may be new to this channel to please subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell that you might get these messages. Join us daily for this prayer. We come to you Monday through Friday and we upload messages during the week and on the weekend. Sow a seed into this ministry and I'm assured that you're going to be blessed because it's our desire to help you in your walk. It's our desire that you may receive the blessings that are available for you, the people of the Most High. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, sow a seed into the ministry and I believe and know that he's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that it's not going to be room enough to receive. And then you can go into that realm of above, abundantly, and exceedingly. Hallelujah. All right, family. Thank you for your time. And we pray and trust that all is well with you in your homes. We want to say happy Friday and going into Shabbat. May you be blessed and highly favored. Shalom.
Thank you.